Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Nuclear Throne. We're going to jump in again and this time I'm going to play as, I think, steroids maybe. That could be fun. Uh, what we got going on here? Bouncer SMG, Grenade Revolver. Let's go with the Bouncer SMG for now. Uh, I do believe it dual wields both of them. And we'll just go with No Crown for now. Um, yeah, dual dual Bouncer SMGs is, uh, is pretty good. How did none of those shots hit you, little maggot? What the hell? I didn't want to go straight in here, but I, I guess I guess I have. <laughs> I guess I've come straight in. Oops. But yeah, this is a pretty good setup. I mean, ammo-wise, it's probably a bit spenny. Probably a little bit expensive, but I think I can carry these for a little while and do some good stuff with them, to be honest. I don't think I'm going to have much of a problem. What have we got left up here? Um, I need that uh, mutation that allows us to carry more... Um... Oh, God damn it. That allows us to carry more ammunition. That would be pretty lovely. Okay, there it is. Back muscle. Uh, yeah, I think, I think I'm just going to take back muscle. And then um, if I can get the one that allows us to regain bullet shot, I can probably keep using these things for a little while. Obviously, I won't entirely just use these things because I will need some other stuff. But these allow us for a, to get a pretty good start on things. Pretty good jump start. I will still check out what we've got going on in our uh, chests. I'm not going to just leave them, but they're not our main priority right now. Okay, we are golden, we are good, we're level 3 already. Oh, what the hell was that? Uh, Scarier Face is just obscenely strong uh, nowadays, so I'll definitely be taking that. Especially with high power weaponry, it's very good. I would very much like some ammo around about now, though, because... There you go. I luckily got some... Oh, god damn it. I did unfortunately get hit by this bastard. Ah, oh, you bastard, man. Oh, that was so silly of me. I just, I tried moving out the way, but instead just kind of start, sidestep directly into it. But yeah, I'd love to grab some more gold weapons with this guy and try some stuff out. So maybe that's what we'll try and do today. Just grab as many gold weapons as we can. I'm going to go straight through here again, to be honest. That worked out last time until I perished. It worked out until it didn't. The, the classic nuclear throne uh, proverb. Yeah, the explosive guys are our main issue. Everything else is kind of fine. Because even these big dogs, if they get close to us, Bouncer SMGs just annihilate at close range, so that's not even a problem. You didn't die, what the hell? We can go through here if we'd like to. Didn't actually mean to grab the inversion magnet there, my bad. Um, tough shell seems good. And then... Second stomach, probably. Look at that. Me just walking into the explosive shot there. Like, there's no harm to me at all. I am stupid. As is... Oh, man. Okay. I will I will actually have a good run here at some point. I do apologize. I will actually have one. Eventually. I've just got to try and learn how to brain. Learn how to use my little noggin. Because at the minute, noggin has not been efficiently used. I'm not going down that way this time, apparently. Didn't get the opportunity. Um, I don't take sharp stress enough. Let's take sharp stress. Extra fire rate bonus is nice, so why not? I love that like little animation it plays there. It's so nice. Look at that. <laughs> Straight down we go. Um... Open mind could be good at this point. Let's let's just go with some mutations we don't normally take that are very often. The bouncer part of the SMG makes this this section like so much so much easier. Small enemies that take a lot of damage, the bouncer weapons are pretty incredible against. I don't know how I took so much damage towards the end there, but I'll accept it. We'll go with the tail end as well. Good health there is very, very nice. Got an, a regular bounce for SMG there. I have you beat. Haha. -ha. Um, eagle eyes could be kind of good with this setup. We're trying to go for weird stuff at the minute that maybe doesn't make sense normally. Yeah, I like eagle eyes with this character. Regain some of that accuracy and then some.
Got to be careful of my ammo consumption. I am kind of going pretty hard here. I'll trade one of my guns for this, even though the ammo consumption is more. I think it makes sense, because triple weapons plus uh, eagle eyes, very good together. Go with that. We've got going on here. Sharp stress doing its thing. Okay, those enemies seem to be doing some new stuff. I swear they didn't normally do that. Lots of ammo there, good, good. Like, did you see how, like, when I killed the enemy, it, like, poofed out into a bunch of different shots? Was it one of the- yeah, that's a new attack from those guys, isn't it? They don't normally do that on death, that must be something different. Um, duh, 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 duh. I think I'm gonna go with back muscle again here, I think it's super useful as his character. So I've got to be kind of careful of these guys now, considering the, uh, they have some new stuff going on. Scythe there. A bomb launcher. Yeah, these guys are kind of gnarly now. Hey, hey, hey. I'm aware. The boss shouldn't be too bad here. Slightly I think I think that fire they produce, though, can hurt other enemies. So I think it's actually kind of a good thing, as long as we stay away from it. Energy backstabber. Little worried about ammo consumption here, but we'll try our best. I think, I think he's just gone the route of making this floor generally harder, because obviously we've got all these little flares wandering about as well. We probably want to start thinking about changing weapons now. Let's see what we've got going on. Oh, okay. Um. Ooh, okay. I'll take that. Throwing butt. Um. Pretty good. Pretty good. The, f the fists, though, is just too good to not take. Blood plasma gun. Eh, I don't think Blood Plasma Gun's really got it going for us. I don't know, actually, no. Maybe it does, maybe it does. Damage-wise, maybe it's uh, it's the right choice. There's also to destroy shots coming at us as well, which is nice. The Accelerator obviously does more damage the further away it does. It basically, the faster it travels. Travels more and more, gains more and more speed the further it goes. So, kind of want to play to the strengths of that when we can. Eh, this isn't a, a great setup for items, I wouldn't say. Um, so we're a swarm on this bad boy. I would like better weapons than this, especially for the boss. I'm not particularly looking forward to doing the boss with this setup. I might die here. We just got to accept the fact that I might die here. I'm hoping my blood uh, stuff will help. Doesn't help that he's fucking sitting over the top of the walls. Can you get to a position where I can easily hurt you, my guy? Dude's fucking got so many lasers. Chill out, man. <laughs> okay, yeah, weaponry we definitely need to be updating sooner than that. I just like sticking with the, the starting weapons. I don't know why. It's just satisfying. There's, there is a mutation that allows my bouncers to bounce more, right? I don't remember what it is. Um, I don't know how alien intestines would work in this scenario. Let's take power craving to promote us grabbing other guns. I think that's an important step for us. I go through here again? I don't, I don't think I want to go down there, to be honest. Got an inverted floor here. I'm going to quickly go and grab some more mutes before I leave the... Thank you. Some more rads even, not mutes. You know what I meant. You know what I meant. Pop rifle, we'll take. That's got freezing on it. Good, good. Yeah, see, this is the sort of thing we need to be doing. Pop rifle's clearly a lot better here. We just got to get a bit closer to to make it effective, but it's very good. Where's our boss? I heard him. Oh, hello. 
Unfortunately, this guy's going to be pretty hard with his explosive shots. The freezing helps. But he is still pretty strong. Micro shotgun. Micro weapons are my favourite, so... I would not mind a micro shotgun. Explosion pistol. Micro shotgun with explosive on it. Don't mind if I do. Uh, plus puffy cheeks could be good. Uh, we'll take absorbing paws and then we'll go with... Go with lucky shot. Lucky Shot's not always great, but I think uh, in this scenario it could be pretty good for this character. With all the ammo we're expending. Okay. This, I, I like this character because it just feels like kind of just like walk forward and keep shooting mode. And you'll eventually succeed. I gotta hope you'll eventually succeed. I'm trying to think of what I want next, what sort of weapon. We got something there. I'm taking damage like crazy by the sounds of it, but everything's dying, so. Infuser. Seems good enough, I guess. We'll take Bolt Marrow with it as well, why not? And we'll go with Frost on it too. A good old Infuser, why not? Okay, so now we want to go for double bolt weapons, really. That would make the most sense, right? Is it the infuser the one that, like, yeah, it sticks in and then explodes, I see. There's a lot going on here that I don't particularly understand, but apparently everything died, so I think I'm okay. Charge laser, no thanks. Oh, I'd like that health. Yeah, I got it. Nice one. Yeah, I need to change out my micro shotgun for another um, thingy weapon, bolt weapon. Second stomach, please. Just fire these down the down the hall and see what happens. The infuser seems to be doing a massive amount of damage. If I stand close to these big guys, they die real fast. And that ammo seems pretty good as well. Charge weapon. Why am I so many charge weapons? I don't want a charge weapon. Don't want a goddamn charge weapon. God damn it. It's the inverted area here. I never remember how difficult the inverted version of this is. But I can't imagine it's easy. I remember dying here a few times. Okay, managed to nuke myself there apparently. Okay, good. Just about survived that somehow. And I managed to get a ton of extra HP there. Good stuff. Explosive on that bad boy too. Why the hell not? Is that it? Yes, it is. Wait, what? Where the hell's the portal? Ah, oh, it's all the way up here. For some reason, back at the start. I don't really know why. That does happen from time to time. Um, Eagle Eyes I'll take again. It makes my, my micro shotgun kind of funny, actually. Supercharged bow. Bouncer on uh, this bad boy, I guess. Micro shotgun's staying right now because we keep getting charge weapons. I don't want charge weapons. Damn, we're here again. I find this boss so difficult, so getting down here is not ideal. God damn, are we wrecking. The setup is gnarly. I like it a lot. Don't seem to have a problem with ammo either at the minute, which is nice. I've right, got one of these. Heavy assault uh, pistol? Hmm, maybe, maybe. Oh, 
could be good. We'll take the heavy assault pistol, why not? Micro shotgun, I love you, but sorry. Um, I'll take throwing butts. We'll put flame on it, why not? And we've got to fight the boss here, so we've got to get ready for that. Okay, we've got a nice clean amount of space here. Do we have good cover anywhere? Probably not. I just hate the fact that you can just like hide over walls. I don't even know how much HP it's like has, but we got it. This this uh, weapon setup seems pretty good to be fair. Infinity revolver. The infinity weapons are weird because like, yeah, I get it. Infinite ammo is nice, but if you get like just a basic shotgun, a basic revolver, or whatever basic slugger, it's not really that valuable. There's just so many other weapons that do so much more damage than them. Bubbler. Reshotting those guys. Nice. Ooh, that was it. That was all, folks. I feel like there's, like, there's a lot of enemies that like, can go over walls and stuff here. That's a lot of bombs you're throwing, my guy. I'd rather you not. Ammo's really not been a problem either here. I've been doing pretty well on ammo. Yeah. If we go on through here. We're level 9 now. What can we go for level 9? Uh, probably Rhino skin, right? And then we got the Hyper Pop Rifle. I think we'll go with Frost on this bad boy. Frost is just always a good choice. We'll hope that last level doesn't go too bad here. Hyper Assault Slugger. That could be pretty gnarly. But let's see what we can actually get done to the boss. The thingy this here, the Infuser, just seems to be insanely good against, um, against bosses, so... I don't got to worry too much about the damage here. I don't realize we could just hold down fire with it either, which is nice. I just realized it's auto. You can see like a thousand damage there, like no problem. Come on. How much health you got? About 2,000? Hey, we got ultra there as well. Lovely. Okay, weapon chests drop, um, two of the same weapon, firing while having two of the same weapon heals you. Uh, ammo chests include all ammo types, you can carry an infinite amount of ammo, ammo above max decreases over time. More total ammo, you have them on knockback you deal. Right click fires your uh, primary, swapping weapon reloads your weapons. I don't get what that means, right click fires your primary. So I don't need two weapons anymore with that. More bullet damage. Ooh, that, that just sounds... just sounds lovely. We're using bullets at the moment, so why not? No one's got a problem with more bullet damage. It's just basic, but... Considering it's an ultra, I imagine it's quite a bit of extra bullet damage, to be honest. We probably do need a better weapon instead of our infuser for this, though. The looping. I imagine this won't quite cut it. My god. I love looping in this game. It's just so insanely hectic. Yeah, we, we need something more AoE based. Shank gun. Ooh, shank gun could be fun. Yeah, let's go with Shankun and try that out. Shankun could be a lot of fun. Why would the police, man? Get out of here, police. Yeah, Shankun seems pretty amazing. I can't I can't use that? Oh, hello. 
I always forget that you're on this floor now. You're a new boss. You're very, very tough as well. With a lot of HP. But, not too bad for us at all. Stop with the goddamn police, man. I just want to leave. I shouldn't have to kill the police to exit the stage. They shouldn't count towards the turtle. Annoying. I mean, it looks like they're not hard to deal with, but still. Yeah, this shank gun's pretty amazing. It's just wrecking everything. <laughs> Walk into the back rooms. Destroy literally everything. Wasn't it a secret crossbow? Oh, wait. Seems kind of gnarly to have these two together. I don't activate my bullet damage now, though, which is a shame, but still. I'm down to try it. We'll see if we live. Ugh, slowing thing. It does a fuckload of damage. I can say that for sure. And it kind of clears the room as well. It's all, all that piercing. Well, hello, Mum. How art thou? There's a lot going on right now. Mum's converting all the different little turd boys into poison turds. You dead? You seem dead. You're dead. Cool. Flail's always fun. Don't gotta worry about ammo when such shit like that happens. Leecher. Oh god, who's shooting me then? I, I got a load of damage. Okay, our ammo is getting pretty low, actually. We do still have to somewhat worry about ammo. On occasion. There's a boss on us, apparently? I don't see him. Oh, it's the little assassin guy, isn't it? There he is. He's always really hard to hit, this guy. Luckily, he dies pretty quick. As you can just see right, right there. Auto flare gun. Oh, god damn, that could be kind of gnarly. What? They said the last enemy was, like, right here. Oh, no. Just a policeman chilling over there once again. And there's one more dude. It's always the police, I told you. They, they, they shouldn't count towards the turtle. You should be able to leave the police are alive. Because they just kind of chill miles away. They don't bother coming to seek you out. I went through here. I don't know what that means for me. What we got going on over here? We can do that. And that. Nice. So we got a few more to go. I haven't really been doing this like last stage stuff in a while. Didn't mean to go through here, but there you go. Uh, I will take a crown. I'll take... Um, which one is it? This one? Yeah. Let's see if I can get some stuff. Ooh. Where the fuck are we now? I haven't been here in a while. I'm very worried about my ammo. And actually, currently, also my health. I, I genuinely don't know how I'm going to live through whatever's going on right now. It's very confusing. What the actual fuck is going on right now? How am I still alive? So much happening. And how are you not dead yet, my guy? I've been firing at you for fucking ages. I need the ammo you're dropping, or I'm gonna run out. Yeah, not much I could do there. Run out of ammo. He just would not die. Either way, that was interesting. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one.